All right, so I recently took the Network Plus exam. Um, I took this on May 6th of 2020. This was during the stay at home order in California. Um, I needed a 720 to pass and I received a 798. Uh, the test is out of 900 points and it is a pass fail. So you either pass or you fail and I passed, this was good. And so I'm here to tell you about my experience of taking this at home and what happened, um, what was different between taking a testing location versus home and what was on my exam. So taking it at home, uh, definitely easier than driving out to a testing location, uh, waiting in line to get seated and take the exam under very stressful. I mean, it, either way, it's stressful, but taking it at a testing location, I think is a little bit more stressful. You're not in your, you're not in your space. You're not where you studied. It's, it's a little bit foreign. Um, so I think that I had a little bit of an advantage taking it at home, uh, as opposed to going to a testing location. Um, I did have a proctor. His name was Kyle. Um, he would text me through a little prompt on the screen or he would, um, before the test began, he called me um, through the Pearson View application, which is what I took my test on. Uh, it's kind of like a lockdown browser. If you were a student in the past year or two, uh, you know what lockdown browser is. Um, it blocks out um, all the applications and makes it so that your screen is full of Pearson view testing application and you can't alt tab or alt F4 or control delete. You can't look anywhere. Um, he had me, I mean, well, Pearson view had me take pictures of my, uh, testing environment. So I did not take it in this room because I have computer over there, computer over there. And then I have another one well, two right there plus um, a TV on the wall. So I did not take it in here because they want you to be free of distractions and free of the ability to cheat. So I moved my rig to my, uh, my desk in my room and that I could close the door and make sure no one disturbs me. Um, I, they do require you to have a webcam as well as a microphone. Um, other than that, I think that is the only requirements. Um, there's a system requirements check that you can run on your system if you are going to take an exam soon. Uh, go to Pearson View, run the system check, and it'll check off everything that you need and make sure your system is good to go for the test. Once I started my test, it began with labs. So right off the bat, it gave me uh, a lab where I had to set up a network, set up different VLANs, put switches where they were required, put desktops where they were required, servers, and the router. Um, this was relatively easy, and I moved on to the next one, which dealt with subnetting. Uh, everyone's dreaded part of networking. Um, I actually had two subnetting lab uh, questions. They were pretty difficult because I didn't really study for subnetting, which was a mistake on my part. So if you are studying for the net plus, make sure you study subnetting. Uh, make sure you know your 255.255.255.0s and your slash 24s and whatnot. Um, once I got past that, I had a question on cabling. So I had a lab where I had to rearrange the pins on a Ethernet cable to make one as a TI-86B and a TI-86A. So I had to put the orange and then for the A, I put the green and so on. Uh, if you know, if you're studying, then you know. Um, and then after that, I had normal questions. Um, some things to keep in mind when you're studying are subnetting is big. Uh, know the two Ethernet cabling standards, obviously. Know the Wi Fi standards. So know your 802.11, uh, B, N, G, A, C. What's the new one? Uh, a, A, X. A, X will not be on there. Uh, it is not common in, um, in corporations and networks almost anywhere yet. Um, know your dns records so your mx your c name your a your aaa your txt your server uh your pointer uh know your cat cables so cat 3 cat 5 cat 5e cat 6 cat 7 know which ones are shielded which ones can cut, carry 10 gig uh which ones can carry gigabit um 
that's about it for that. Um, and then know your OSI model. So if you know the OSI model, uh, there's tricks to uh, keep it in your head. Uh, people always seem to need uh, data protection. Um, somewhere in there is a way to help you study. It is backwards, so it takes a little bit for you to like figure out where data link and network and presentation is. Uh, but that definitely did help me during the test. I, I was out loud saying people always seem to need data protection. Um, other than that, just study. Um, there's books. Uh, the books didn't really help me. Um, I did take a class at my local junior college. Uh, they have a networking essentials course. Um, that course directly relates to the net plus. Uh, I feel like it didn't teach me everything I needed. Uh, so I did a little bit of study on my own, obviously. And then if you have the money or if your school is willing to pay for it or your company or whatever, um, the CompTIA cert master is a huge help. It gives you, there's also Udemy courses on this, but it gives you practice tests. It gives you chapters that you can do. Uh, you can learn the different, like uh, when it gives you your score report, you it says you incorrectly answered one or more questions in the following objective areas. So it's like 1.2 or 4.3 or whatever. It's the same thing, the CompTIA cert master. Um, it'll, sh it'll say chapter one, chapter three, chapter 4.2 and it'll help you in those areas once you take your practice exam it'll tell you what you got wrong and stuff like that so cert master was a big help it is very expensive i was very lucky to have my school um, provide a have it like a key for it um other than that study 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 i studied for about two weeks straight before i took my exam and I feel like I should have studied a little bit more, uh, especially subnetting, because I totally forgot about that and forgot that that was a networking, um, a networking essential. Um, but yeah, um, if you are trying to take an exam and you're waiting for coronavirus to be over, don't take it from home. It, you won't regret it. It's a lot easier than going out to a testing center and being in some foreign location uh, that you're not used to. So that are those are that was my experience with the Network Plus exam, uh, the N10007. Uh, I'm very happy that I passed. And if you guys want to see more of these videos, hit like, get subscribed, hit that bell icon so you're notified by my next videos. So stay tuned, guys, and I'll see you guys all later.